But we're thinking about naming the football field something. What do you think about this name? Wait, what? So we're thinking about naming the football field something. What do you think about this football name for this football field? What do you think? Oh my god! What do I do to deserve this? What do you think? We're gonna be Charlie Woodford Field. Oh. Charles Woodford Field, we named it after him last year. Charlie started our booster club back in 1973, our athletics booster club. He was the original president of our booster club, very active member even up until his passing last Sunday. You know, so we, we wanted to do something special for him, obviously knowing his age and, and his accomplishments. You know, World War II veteran, Purple Heart winner. He did so much for our school and was such a big fan. He only missed three or four football games in that time span from 1966 until today. That was one of the honors that uh, you know, our superintendent, Dr. Jeff Dozier, and uh, our, our, our Board of Education really tried to push for and make sure that we got that done. Bittersweet, you know. I mean, Charlie's last request. Uh, to, his daughter told me when I called her on the on the phone the other day to offer our condolences on behalf of the Beville East and and just to talk to her. She said, you know, my father's one of his last requests was to, uh, you know, to, to go around the football field and to have the band playing the fight song. And, and we said, well, what better way to, to honor Charlie and everything he's done for us to make that happen? full dress uniform on this hot day out here playing the fight song. Um, they even changed the words from L-A-N-C-E-R-S to Charlie. You know, they actually spelled out his name. I don't know if anybody caught that, but. So how was it? Yeah. It was noisier than what I remember. <laughs> <laughs> but there wasn't as much flack. No, and and nobody's shooting at you. <laughs> shooting at you. <laughs> nobody shooting at you. He wasn't from the area, he's from Pennsylvania, and so okay. you know, coming here, um, you know, being transferred to Scott and worked here for 29 years, um, his his two ch uh, children went to Beville East, um, and you know, obviously was got got our booster club going um, for the athletic programs when his son started you know, Beville East in '66. So um, in '73, he started the booster club, and, and has been literally at everything since for the most part. Um, there's a scholarship in his name um, that he awards to one male athlete, one female athlete every year. Um, so this will be the first year we'll, we'll do that this spring without him. If you could, if you could have a resume of how to live your life, it would be Charlie Woodford. And uh, you know, obviously he'll be greatly missed.